Here we have motion sickness going out for a nice day cruise. And in the meantime, we will be seeing some profile photos and just get an all around view of her. Are you looking for a family-friendly, oversized cruiser that is fun to sleep everybody on board? You can go back and forth to Catalina with ease and a great place to raise your family? Then come with me for a quick tour on motion sickness. She's a 1995 Wellcraft Martinique 3600, well-powered, generator, air conditioning, lots of headroom, great for family fun and entertainment. Come along and bring the kids and relatives and everybody else so you can have a good time. Come with me as we walk through motion sickness. Here we are starting off forward starboard on this Wellcraft 3600 Martinique. We see we've got lots of features. There's the nighttime spotlight, windless with foot pedals right there fender baskets the owners have added a kayak slash paddleboard rack right here on both sides notice the oversized opening windows for light into the cabin this four deck here is what I point out as an LLI ladies like it feature have a sun pad made just lay out and enjoy the day Coming down along the side, we see we have a full enclosure, camper back. The Isinglass forward is nice and clean and fresh. We've got the Taylor curved windshield. Coming down along the side, this gives us another view. And if we look on top, we can see the radar dome right there. There's that Martinique badge and then the Wellcraft brand down below. Here at the transom, we have lots of features such as our Weaver snap davits, folding boarding ladder, trunk storage, and a hot and cold shower. Let's go aboard. Motion Sickness is a beamy vessel. Some of the additional amenities back here are we have our grab rail with additional rod holders right there. This gives us an overview of the cockpit seating. We enter the vessel through this starboard door and up a step. Immediately to port, we see that L-shaped seating. And then right in front of us, we have another bench seat. All total, it's easy to see eight or nine people here. The space between 
the two seats is over four feet so there's more than enough room at a cocktail table we've got a barbecue here and again on the port side we have our wet bar with gunnel storage there as we move forward we see we have our raised helm seat with the thigh rise bolster the seats actually big enough for at least two probably three people stepping up here at the helm we have our Raytheon ROXX radar, chart plotter, and an autopilot over here, along with our VHF radio. All of our rocker switches are within easy reach. We have our depth finder, spotlight, and various light panel switches right there. Here at the helm, we have our separate shift and throttle levers. And then up above, we have all of our engine gauges and an engine sink. All the gauges are nice and clear, clean. They don't look original. The bezels are in good condition along with the lenses. This gives us a view of the foredeck. And then as we circle around, we have an overview of our spacious cockpit right there. Engine access is through two large deck hatches under the carpet. We enter the cabin through this offset port side door and down a few steps. Immediately in front of us, we see our L-shaped galley with the Corian countertop and built-in appliances such as coffee maker, an LG microwave, cabinets, and a refrigerator below. Once inside the cabin, we have a hanging locker right there for storage and gear. Our battery switches are down below right there. Up above, we have all of our electrical controls along with the generator start right there. We have about six feet five inches of headroom here so it's nice and spacious and beamy as we move forward we have our u-shaped dinette seating right there which converts into a sleeping area to port a pull-out sofa gunnel storage and a small TV stepping forward we have our master suite right here. We have a slant bed. It's about seven feet long. Vanity, step up, and a mirrored locker right there. As we circle back around, this gives us another view of the salon. Now, I will tell you the headliner on this has some spotting on it due to old leaks. It's currently dry. Now, as we come aft, we have very important space here. We have our head, vacuum flush toilet, fiberglass lined, gunnel storage, and a separate shower stall right here with an acrylic sliding circle door. 
pulling back. We have our mid cabin, which is double wide, about six feet long, to sleep yet another party. Motion sickness is very well powered with twin rebuilt 454 Merc Cruiser engines, well equipped with a generator, solid ride, solid build, viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.